Hey, good morning, good morning to everybody as we uh, kick off for today. As you can tell, I'm on the road again. Hopefully the sun isn't too bright in your face there. Um, but we're excited to be with you and joining in with you this morning. Hopefully our connection is good. As you can tell, I'm on the road uh, and we're heading uh, up to pick up my daughter from college and bring her back home. So uh, I might not be able to keep up with your comments today because I am driving. Uh, I do have my son with me today. Say hey, Jared. What up? So that's my teenage son who is joining me, uh, who will be reading for me this morning. Again, on this Periscope, uh, this is a no fuss, no cuss zone. Uh, so we don't cuss, we don't fuss. Uh, today you might not get blocked, but uh, that's not something that we want to do to distract people. So good morning to each of you. Uh, we're going to go ahead and get, kick off for today. Uh, we're going to be coming from the 37th number of Psalms. Good morning to you, Tracy. The 37th number of Psalms. Um, we're going to read verses 12 and 13. Uh, and this is a follow-up to yesterday to give you some concrete way uh, to do what we talked about yesterday. To not hold on to anger, um, but if I don't get angry, what can I do? Uh, and here's what you can do. So Jared's going to read for us verses 12 and 13 of that 37th number of Psalm. The wicked plotted against the just, and the gnasheth upon him with his teeth. The Lord shall laugh at him, for he seeth that his day is coming. Right. So here's my kind of thought for today, is to laugh at them. And what do you mean by laugh at them? Here's what we mean by that. When we understand that wicked people plot against us, it talks about how they plot against those who are just, how they gnash at them with their teeth, uh, which means they gnaw at them or they grind at them. It says, now, they try to do these things against you. But then it says this in verse 13, which is very powerful, that the Lord laughs at them. Why? Because the Lord knows that their day is coming. When you are just and right and pure in your motives and people plot against you, they're not just fighting against you, but they're actually fighting against God. And when they're fighting against God, it is actually, actually preposterous that they will win. It's laughable that anyone can stand a, a chance in a fight against God. So when our enemies come to attack us and our enemies are trying to do things against us, they're not really fighting you. They're fighting God. And what does God do? God laughs at them because he knows that their day is coming. He knows that all of their plots and all of their plans, all of the things that they're doing will amount to nothing against his great power and his authority. Uh, everything that they try will never be effective against an almighty God. So when I realize that God is on my side, that I'm doing things with a pure motive, when I do things in that way, no matter what my enemies do, their best efforts will not be successful. So now I can join with God and laugh at them. I no longer have to be angry at people who try to mistreat me when I know I'm doing the right thing because I know ultimately they will not have the victory. I know ultimately they cannot succeed against God. So God laughs at them. So now instead of me being angry, I can laugh at their efforts to try to tear me down, to try to talk about me, to try to do things against me. Their efforts will never amount to anything. So therefore, instead of being angry and having anger uh, well up inside of me and consume me and cause me to do things that aren't pleasing to God, I can now change my perspective, view it the way that God views it. God laughs at them because he knows their day is coming. And that's the way we can learn how to treat our enemies, understanding that all of their efforts don't amount to anything, that one day they will have to pay for the wickedness and the evil that they do. So when it comes to my enemies, I no longer get angry at them. I laugh at them. And when I do that, that now brings me peace, brings me joy. Doesn't cause me to have problems and anxiety, but it gives me the ability to move forward with confidence. And that's what I encourage you to do today. Don't get all wrapped up in what your enemy is doing, but learn how to laugh at them. Why? Because God laughs at them. He realizes that their day is coming. So it might seem like they're successful now, but no, ultimately they cannot win against God. Amen. We pray that this encourages you today uh, as you go about your day. Don't let those who are doing evil, doing wickedness, those who are plotting and planning against you, because they will. When you have 
pure motives, you can be confident that they will not ultimately be successful. And you can be like God. You can laugh at your enemies. So today, have a great chuckle, have a great laugh at them. Uh, today, I want to wish all of the mothers a happy pre-Mother's Day. Uh, celebrate this weekend. We celebrate you. We thank God for mothers and all that you do. You're phenomenal. You're wonderful. And we pray that you have a phenomenal, wonderful weekend and that God blesses you richly on this weekend. All right. We're going to go to God in prayer. Uh, continue to pray for those who've lost loved ones. Uh, and remember, those of you in Central Florida uh, at Macedonia, uh, the ladies are not having service tonight, but they will have their pre-Mother's Day brunch on tomorrow. Yes. I will say a happy Mother's Day to my wife, Crystal, as well. All right, let's pray. God, our Father, we thank you for this day. We thank you for this time that we can share from your word. We thank you that you give us the confidence to know that we don't have to worry about our enemies, what they say or what they do, because ultimately their day will come. They will plot and they will plan against us, but we won't allow anger to consume us, but we will now laugh at them in the same way that you do because we know ultimately their day is coming. So we thank you for the confidence that we can have to move forward in your name. So we pray today that as we go out, we can be the ones that people can look at and see the example of the love that you have for mankind by the love that you show in us and through us, that we can be light to a dark dying world. We pray for everyone on this periscope. You know exactly what they need, what they are seeking from you. So we pray God that you bless them according to your holy word, whatever it is they are seeking from you, because we know it doesn't matter what the enemy plots and plans against them. It doesn't matter what the enemy tries to put in their head to give them defeat or depression, but we know we can have confidence in you. You are God that will never fail us, a God that will never leave us, a God that will never forsake us. And we thank you for it. Bless us now this day as we go out that we might do your will according to your word. We thank you, God, and we love you. Be with us. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen and praise God. We thank you again for joining us. We pray that you are encouraged. Remember, laugh at your enemies in the same way that God laughs at them. Because ultimately their day is coming. When they plan against the just, they will never, ever be successful. God bless you. Have a great day. And we'll see you soon. Bye.